And the minister from a sedentary position talks about the last Labour government. When are they going to wake up to the fact they've been in government for 12 years? 12 years! 12 years! It's remarkable! 12 years they've been in. Maybe the Honourable Lady can tell us why they want to run away from their record of 12 years. I'd like to, I'd like to thank the Honourable Gentleman for giving way. And he makes grand statements in support of the NHS. But I'm afraid his actions do not support the NHS. He has backed today these train and tube strikes, which has meant in my, cons- uh, which has meant in my constituency Patients cannot get to hospital, nurses cannot get to their places of work, and nor can doctors. Can we have better action rather than words? I am very, very grateful to the Honourable Lady for that intervention. Our party has been clear. We didn't want to see the strikes go ahead. We believe the strikes could have been averted if the government had shown responsible action. And let me tell you, Mr Speaker, The absolute brass neck of the Secretary of State. It's one thing pretending they haven't been in government for the last 12 years. Now they're pretending they're not in government today. And that somehow it's down to me, the Shadow Health Secretary, that if somehow I'd I'd uttered the magic words, don't go ahead, that the RMT would have said, oh no, the Shadow Secretary of State for Health has spoken now. We better put a stop to it. In fact, to to, to quote the... Thank you. I, I just went up a little bit. I think we don't want to open up a debate that's not down for today. And I think we got a little bit carried away. I, the Honourable Lady got it in, but I was quite right to a lower response. But after that, I think we've heard enough now.